Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to George Mack Plays the Classics. Skate or die. Skate or die. Die, 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 die. Skate or die 2. The search for double trouble. You're distracted by eventual villain ice pick while shredding some sidewalk. Unfortunately for you and all the skaters out there, you make Mrs. Mayer's poodle go splat. She immediately forces Mr. Mayor to put an end to all the skaters out there. You and your friends aren't going to take things sitting on the couch. Press the start button to begin adventure mode where you have to go through four levels to get to the double trouble ramp, or just press the select button to get there right away. If you go to the adventure mode, you start in the warehouse district looking for revenge against Mrs. Mayor. Your goal here is to power up. Collecting tacos, fries, CDs, and cassette tapes will allow you to trade for better skateboards from Rodney and new tricks from Lester. There are lots of enemies all about, and you can attack them with a paint gun, rotten eggs, and M80s by pressing the B button and forward. The paint shoots straight ahead while the eggs and M80s are thrown in an arc. Tricks are performed by pressing the B button with the other directions. They can be switched out for others in your arsenal in the pause screen. I didn't get many tricks in my time, but heavily used the 180 kick turn because slowing down to turn took way too long. Once you find Mrs. Mayor, you light her up with whatever weapon you wish. Mayor has your half pipe torn down because there was no building permit for it. This forces you to get a job delivering packages in the mall. You're going to be maneuvering all around, avoiding shoppers and an overzealous security guard trying to deliver your packages in time. If you're fast, you get a tip. If you're slow, you get scolded. The guard drops you off at a faraway escalator and knocks your timer way down. He totally sucks. After getting the money together, Rodney puts together a sweet blueprint for the ramp but the pages are blown out the window. It's up to you to collect all 16 pieces at the beach before they blow into the ocean. I finally beat the level by rushing all the way to the right and collecting what I could on the way, then turning around and getting what I missed. Ice Pick isn't happy seeing CJ with the permit and steals it and kidnaps her. It's rescue time as you have to go through a four-story warehouse maze to find the permit, make your way to the roof, and kick Ice Pick's butt. Then you finally get your ramp. Here you have to perform tricks by picking up speed and either tapping or holding the A or B buttons with the direction. There are a lot of tricks that you can use. Good luck getting them to work, or land them if you do. When it comes to grading Skater Die 2, the search for double trouble on NES, graphics get a 2.0. Graphics are serviceable, but not good. Did they just trace the Little Mermaid for CJ? Sound gets a 3.5. The music goes super hard and there are some incredibly clear voice samples. Gameplay gets a 1.5. The character is very difficult to control. You'll wipe out for being in the vicinity of an obstacle. Difficulty gets 2.0. Enemies like to crowd narrow corridors and take you down. Fun Factor gets a 1.0. Not a fun game to play. Overall, Skater Die 2 The Search for Double Trouble earns a 2.0 and gets a C. This isn't a good game. EA isn't a very good developer at this point. Stay away. Well, that's going to do it for me for today. Please make sure to like this video. Let me know what you think of Skater Die 2 in the comments, and please subscribe to Head Drop Productions here on YouTube, because we want you here for each and every video we release, because it is your destiny.